Boy, howdy, neighbor. <laughs> Welcome back to Hammer and Saw Custom right here on the Big Island of Hawaii. I'm old brother Bill, the third soggy bottom boy. <laughs> no, not really. Still jack of all trades, master of none. If you ever seen old brother Wout, now check it out. You'll get the reference. If you have, I hope you had a good laugh. <laughs> so today we're on part 11 of the old Hammer and Saw Customs pallet wood wood shop workshop fix it shop break it shop <laughs> and it has just been a fight neighbor because it has just been raining raining uh raining and some more rain but hey it is the rain force so <laughs> it is what it is so in today's episode i'm gonna just do a quick review i'm gonna show you that as you can see we've already got a lot of the outside skin on this wall where i think the last video we were somewhere right here <laughs> we've also got a lot of the siding almost complete on the front wall and what i'm going to be showing today is the trim out so we've got this corner trimmed out what it looks like we're going to put the cross pieces in around the window and then i'll show you a few more down that yonder way on those windows so with that uh Come on in, rest your hands and face, try to stay dry doing it, <laughs> grab you a snack, maybe a sandwich, but make sure it don't get all soggy today, grab you a cold drink, even though it's raining, the humidity is still pretty stifling, so uh, Brother Bill's drink of choice, as always, is some good old southern sweet tea with some NASCAR uh, additive to it. And it's smooth. <laughs> so come on back after the intro and we'll try to jump right on in. This is how Noah felt when he was building the ark, you know, and it just uh, started raining and raining and raining and raining. Oh, hey, neighbor, you're back. Ah, sorry about that complaining there. You know, you know. <laughs> well, glad to see you back. So before we get started, we're going to be using uh, the nail gun and air compressor that a good old neighbor sent in to brother bill thank you much we'll tack the boards in place and then we're going to use our pallet wood nails to finish it up to make this uh little build out look more authentic because it is so old safety steve says to uh wear your glasses because hey brother i got clear glasses safety glasses on today because it is high noon here on the big island and it is dark as it could be <laughs> Ain't getting any brighter, so old brother Bill's got a hammer on safely to get this video into you. So, where oh, safety Steve says, wear glasses. We're gonna be hammering and moving some material around, so let's get our glove laters or phalange protectors on. As always, uh, when you're working, have some good uh, work clothes, they don't have to be brand new or anything like that, but just make sure they're not all tattered and got strings hanging off of them. Some uh, nice sturdy shoes, especially out here on the rock where I am. That's always a good plus. So, what I have is uh, some pallet board runners, fresh off the pallet. <laughs> We've got some 45s uh, cut on each end. Reason being is I use the top 45 to wedge in and lock in underneath my uh, rafter overhang, and then the bottom 45. Meets up with the second trim board 45 and just slides under there like a soap. Reason being is uh, I think it's because it gets a little damp around here from time to time. And with that 45, it may wick some uh, water up in there, but with that 45, it's eventually going to dry out and, and try to shed that water off the board as if you just had a, a butt joint there. Uh, and you just wick into that joint and then get in behind. 
course, we're going to, later on, I'm going to show you an old timer's way, a cheap, inexpensive way to preserve the outside of your pallet wood building for literally nothing. And it's recycling, too. <laughs> so, with that, you got any questions there, neighbor? Oh, wait a minute. The, the rain is picked up, and I can't quite hear you. Well, until the rain stops, Oh, Brother Bill wants you to hit that little subscribe button. Yeah, that little subscribe, you know, that little little button, right? Yeah, that one right down there. If you're on TikTok or Instagram or YouTube, uh, Facebook, you may not see it, but if you're here on YouTube, it's down there. Oh, Brother Bill, appreciate if you would subscribe. Get that out. Uh, it really does help out me and the channel. It helps other folks get to see this. Also, if you could give me a couple likes and some comments, it's always great to talk to you folks. If you're not seeing that there, Old Brother Bill is also trying some stuff on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook with uh, the hammer and saw. So if you're not a fan of either, either or, you just take your pick. <laughs> and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. <laughs> so with that, I think I'm just going to jump right in, throw this in, and uh, I will see you on the other side. Well, there you have it neighbor <laughs> just fighting me the whole way uh nails you know they're authentic reused recycled repurposed pellet nails so they're not perfect just like me and they're going in a non-perfect uh you know there's knots and i've got some oak uh frames in there and it hits those and they just kind of bend up bow up so basically i think you got the gist besides uh set there and eat Cheetos and uh, <laughs> cheese crackers and nutter butters or whatever and watch me do that pretty simple we're just down to that you know that stage we'll have more exciting stuff going on inside with the uh, cabinets and countertops and things of that nature plus putting some tools in doing the solar still got the temporary tarp temporarily installed um, don't want to take it off because I've already moved a few things inside, some tools and things of that nature to uh, keep from going back and forth to the um, original tent that I started out in, which is only about 200 feet that way. But it just, uh, you know, going back and forth, cut down on some time. 
I'm going to keep uh, at it, but I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, I want to tell you, I sure do appreciate you guys stopping by. I do enjoy our time. Catch me on uh, those other outlets and say howdy. And uh, until next time, I want you to remember our soldiers, past and present. Let's remember our first responders. Man, especially right now with all the car accidents, our, our folks here are just, you know, they're running, uh, you know, just running ragged. So uh, slow down in the rain. <laughs> Be careful. Let the other guy pass if he needs to. And uh, as always, 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 Brother Bill wants you to remember, if your neighbor can learn to do it, you can learn to do it too. If you don't learn to do it the right way, because you're probably not going to learn to do it the right way by Brother Bill, at least you'll have fun watching me, and you'll know what not to do. <laughs> also, um, we're trying to just get these uh, videos out to you. I'm trying to get these videos out to you as much and as quickly as possible. So every Friday, 9 a.m., Hawaii Standard Time, where Brother Bill's going to shoot you a, a video. That's my promise. Got my hand right up now. You know, so like my other promise, you know, hi, I'm Brother Bill. I'm a hoarder. <laughs> I like to keep all kinds of beautiful things and make stuff into it. So uh, they try to make sure I get that video out to you every Friday, 9 a.m. Hawaiian Standard Time. As always, I thank you for stopping by. So until next time, neighbor. Hammer on safely, and I'll catch you later on. Aloha. Oh, one, one, one last uh, thing there, neighbor. I wanted to say to all my Arizona friends uh, back there in Arizona, <laughs> shout out to Arizona. Hey, send a little bit of that sunshine over this way. I mean, this is Hawaii. But uh, <laughs> this is getting a little crazy now. So <laughs> until next time, shoot some of the Arizona sun over this way. Brother Bill, greatly appreciate it. Have a good one. Aloha.